In order to remove the device from the suitcase by pressing the push button, the handle of the device should be placed in a 45 degree angle and taken out of the box. To change the status of the handle of the device, it is necessary to press the side buttons of the device simultaneously and then the status should be changed. Once the device is positioned on the intended surface, the handle of the device can be put on the device by pressing the push button. Also, it is possible for the handle to be positioned beneath the device so it should be used as a stand for the device. Moreover, the stand located under the device can be used for this purpose too. At the bottom of the device are the air conditioning grooves and it is crucial to consider that while positioning the device, these grooves must not be blocked under any circumstances. The front panel of the device consists of the outputs, inputs, device status lights and power off and on button. If the green light of the main relay is on, it means that all main switches of the device are on. If the green light of the connected is on, it means that the device is correctly connected to the software via PC or mobile phone. If the red light of error is on, it means that there is a problem with the device and it stopped working. As long as the problem is not resolved, this light will remain on and the device will not work. The two voltage groups A and B allow the users to receive up to 150 voltage AC and 212 voltage DC in all four phases simultaneously with a precision of 10 millivoltage with a maximum current of 0.4 ampere AC and 0.6 ampere DC as well as up to 2 ampere in transient mode. By changing the wiring it is possible to receive up to 450 voltage single phase AC from the device. Also, it is possible to increase the output voltage and provide the user with 150 voltage AC with a maximum current of 0.8 ampere by changing the wiring and paralleling the two current sources. The two current groups A and B allow the user to receive up to 32 ampere in all six phases simultaneously or 64 ampere three phase. Moreover, by changing the wiring it is possible to receive up to 128 single phase amperes from the device. After auxiliary DC output, a DC voltage as high as 0 to 210 voltage is permanently adjustable. This is where the integrated cable is connected. The amount of the current and the output voltage of this port are the same as the amount of the current and voltage ports have been described earlier. The device's binary output have been placed in this part. Four binary outputs can be used as a key or for generating digital signals. There are 10 amperes relays behind these binaries. This is where the analog inputs of the device have been set. The analog inputs of the device are capable of receiving both analog and the digital signals. All eight inputs can be active simultaneously. Other than reading them, these inputs can show the waveform of voltage in three voltage levels of 4.5, 30 and 188 volts with the precision of 4.10 and 100 millivoltage. The analog DC input section is capable of measuring voltage up to 200 millivoltage with a precession of 50 microvoltage and current up to 500 microampere with a precession of 50 microampere. Earth port. This port is used to protect the earth connection and the earth cable of the device is connected to this port. In this section, in order to protect the device, a 15 ampere and 250 voltage fuse is used. The power supply port is located here. The power cord of the device is plugged to this port. The RS232 port. This port is mainly used for representing the IP and updating the firmware. To do this, the RS-232 dongle, which is part of the equipment of the device, needs to be connected to this port. Then, the necessary operation described in the animation needs to be performed. In this section, by using the switch, the communication protocol between the device and laptop is selected. If the switch is up, the connection is via Wi-Fi and if the switch is down, the connection is via LAN. The LAN port located under this switch is used for dimension communication. The laptop settings for connecting a laptop to the device are described in the following animations. 
The GPS antenna, which is used for time synchronization of two devices for performing an end-to-end -end test, is connected to this part. This glass box includes one side socket, one side wire, long wire, crocodile clip, 30 cm test wire, 10 cm test wire, 4 mm test socket and cable tie. Other pieces of equipment that come with the device are communication cables which are used for communicating with the relay and injecting voltage or current. This side of the cable which has a fixed head is connected to the device and the head on the other side which has a dynamic plastic guard is connected to the equipment. LAN cable. The blue cable, visible in the image, is used to connect the device to a laptop. Earth cable. The yellow cable is the ground wire where its place of connection to the device was shown earlier. While one side of the cable is connected to the device, the other side, where the crocodile clip is attached, is connected to the location of the ground connection. The black cable on the right is the power cable and the one on the left is the GPS antenna cable. This antenna is used for end-to-end -end tests. The GPS antenna is used for time synchronization of two devices for performing end-to-end -end tests. RS232 dongle. This dongle is used to reset the device. The second and third pins of this dongle are interconnected, so if the dongle cannot be assessed, the device can be reset by connecting the second and third pins to the RS-232 port located on the back of the device. Capacitor box. In this capacitor set, there are three 1000 microfaraday capacitors which are used as filter in equipment tests. Integrated or Nutri cable. This cable has eight output wires on one end and a single part on the other which connects to the device. To plug this cable, first insert the tab into Nutri cable as it is shown in the image. Then, after the Nutri cable is inserted, spin it to the right until the metal pin is fit to its place. To unplug the Nutri cable, pull the tab and spin it to the left. After the spin is complete, it can be removed. There are several labels attached to the sides of the device. The first label includes the serial number and technical information of the device. Also, the second label includes contact information for device support. Trolley. This case is designed for convenient transportation of the device. To place it inside the case, the device must be standing perpendicular to the surface. Then it can be placed in the case and after the case can be closed. At the front and back of the case, there are pockets where the equipment of the device can be placed.